This is going to be the scariest thing we have ever done. Well, we are here today to see if one of the most dangerous things at sea can catch fish. This is will it reel bananas. The myth is back in the 1700s, there was four shipwrecks back to back to back to back. And when people went out to look for the crew and the boats and anything they could find to see if the crew was you know, alive, they didn't find anything. But what they did find with each shipwreck was bananas. The thinking back then became bananas is sinking boats. The superstition has stayed alive and honestly a lot of people still believe that you should not bring bananas on boats. But we're doing something risky today. We basically bought every single banana Publix had to offer. We're gonna try to catch a fish and hopefully not sink. Oh it's floating. That's a problem. No, it's not. I bet we catch a bird. One thing I know we can catch is a bird. So this like, no banana thing is like serious. Every captain at Poseidon will not allow bananas on the boat. Basically, if you bring a banana, they tell you to eat it right there at the dock before we leave. Because apparently it's dangerous. But they're good as hell. Hmm. Maybe we need to chum the water. <laughs> Everybody does it with greenbacks, so. They skip? Oh my god. Biodegradable. No shit. Damn it. I'm telling you, I had something. So the idea is, I do not think that the actual banana fruit will hold up. But I think that the color yellow is working in our favor and making something the size of like a greenback or a shad or something that they would normally eat might just trick them. And that is the thinking. Throw it back out there and see if they bite this time. I think we got close. Gives me confidence. Going on a trip in a baby rocket ship. Going to the sky. <laughs> Come here, Pidgey. Pidgey. The only thing that would play with it is either like a bonnet head shark something's playing with it or a like a catfish part of me wants to be patient let it like take it and the other part of me wants to like this bass master classic this thing see if we can get it to pop out of the water we're gonna change things up i don't know felt something Maybe a catfish playing with it. We're gonna change it up though. There it is. Everybody knows, big bait catches big fish. <laughs> we have found one problem with fishing with bananas. They float. Good old top water bait here. Oh we oh we coming across. I mean, if I was a fish, I'd at least be curious. Banana! Straight from wherever the heck bananas come from. About eight inches. That's about right. <laughs> so one thing that my wife Jess has enlightened me on recently is that my seven month old daughter will eventually watch these videos. 
Need to keep it clean. We're going with our fish technique again. Looks like a fish. Look, it's even got a little mouth. Eat me! Alright, come on, fishies. Hey, uh, Mr. Fish. Don't know if you know, but there's a new sheriff in town. Caught it that time. <laughs> this is banana. Is that my phone ring? Hello, it's Hunter. No, man, we ain't got anything yet. I think we had a nibble. We're trying. My catfishing idea did not work. So now we are going to uh, head out to a reef. Maybe a snapper or something's dumb enough to eat a banana. Plan B! What the hell is happening? My God. They're multiplying. They're literally having babies on the boat. <laughs> in the water. <laughs> Blame it all on my roots. I done showed up in boots. Blaming my rank fire. Got a problem? <laughs> They're like, what the <laughs> What the hell are those Poseidon guys doing? It's rough. <laughs> Bringing bananas was a really bad idea. <laughs> All right, I think it's too rough. We gotta turn around. It was the bananas. We going home. We ain't doing that. Not today. Not today. Ah! Let's go offer them some bananas. Knock, knock. How's it going, man? Is Nick around? Heck yeah. What up? You want some bananas? You know, like, bananas on boats is like a really bad superstition. Well, we just thought it'd be a good YouTube video to try to go catch one. Catch a fish with a banana. Didn't work. We tried with oranges and lemons the other day and it did work. Really? Yeah. We caught a grouper on a lemon. No way. I swear. And a mackerel on an apple. No. A little banana. You just grab them, they're everywhere. <laughs> you need some more? How much you get on this banana? Uh, thirty-five dollars at Publix. Buys you a shitload of bananas. Y'all have a good one, man. Thank you, buddy. Christmas in July. Obviously, bananas on boats. Not a great idea. We didn't catch fish. The weather took a turn, and we had to turn back. But obviously, not everybody's superstitious. So we're gonna bounce around to these sailboats and give away some bananas. How's it going, man? That's a sweet boat. Thank you. You want any bananas? No, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Superstition. <laughs> It'll sink tomorrow, I swear. It's good seeing you, Drew. You hungry? No, it's, it's coming. <laughs> Come on, bananas. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know the superstition behind bananas? No. So, <laughs> didn't work. Got it. Very good. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs>